what is going on folks Antoine here and today we're going to be doing a 2021 update on Pluto TV so it's been a little bit over a year since I last reviewed this streaming service uh, but I do always report on on my website otantana.com but today we're going to be taking a look at what's changed with their interface since 2020 and what channels have they added since then all right so looking at the interface um, and I wrote an article about this Pluto TV added a brand new search feature uh, but the search feature it doesn't operate like every other search feature it only searches for content so you can't search for actors um, directors or anything like that you can only search for titles of movies so for example I know uh, for a fact there's a movie on here with John Goodman in here um, and again you know when you type in a name it's going to Pluto is only going to search for titles with them words in there so woodsman you got John 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 so you're not going to see anything um, actor based or director based in their in their search results um, which makes it hard to find content because Pluto does have tons of content and so that brings me uh, to my next new feature on Pluto TV. They have expanded uh, their category section over here on their sidebar or expanded their sidebar selection. So you see on the side right here, they made it extremely easy for you to narrow down your content. They won't exactly, they won't help you find exactly what you look for, looking for, but they will help you narrow it down. So if you're looking for black cinema, 90s cinema, 80s cinema, um, 80s music, indies, whatever the case may be, you can narrow it down over here, but you can't find exactly uh, what you're looking for. So we got the secret window uh, with Johnny Depp. So just just an, just as an example, I know we searched John Goodman, but we've seen some content over here with Johnny Depp in it. So we bring up Johnny Carson. You know, if you're looking for Johnny Depp movies, good luck with that. All right, so next let's hop on over to the the uh, what's new with their channel selection. They have made plenty of changes with their um, channel selection. Um, we're gonna hop on to that, but um, let's go over here. So I gotta open a few windows here. I, I'm gonna do a side by side. We got that. Go ahead and tap that. And get us a nice little side by side going. So on the left side, that's our that's the updated list I just created. And on the right side, let me go ahead and make that small on the right side. This is our go ahead and bring that up. This is our old list. All right, so we're gonna go here and start with movies. So in the movies category, the only thing that's new is Pluto Double Double O Seven, and if you noticed, um, Pluto tends to add Double O Seven and take it off, add it, um, and take it off. Um, but Double O Seven is usually always on Pluto TV at some point in time uh, within a year. Uh, so we're going to go down to seasonals. Nothing's new with seasonal. Seasonal content is going to be there during holidays, big holidays, Christmas, uh, Thanksgiving, um, holidays like that. Uh, let's go down to entertainment. So in the entertainment section, uh, Pluto has added the courtroom channel. That's channel 158. You see right here on the old channel lineup, channel 158 was not there. So next we're going to go down to news and opinion. So in the news and opinion section, they have added Yahoo Finance, which is a great um, channel. Yahoo Finance overall has great content. If you're into the stock market or anything having to do with finance, Yahoo Finance is definitely the place to go. I've been using Yahoo Finance for at least four years reliable source of information um, great new addition to Pluto TV next is reality we're going to go down to reality so in the reality section they have 
removed American Gladiator. So that's the only difference there. Now, if you notice with Pluto TV, they tend to, um, like, say, for example, you have um, a show like Seinfeld. They will make a channel out of that one show. So it's not surprising that they add and remove channels as much as they do. Um, the next section is the crime section. Nothing has changed there. Next section is the comedy section. So on the comedy section, you see they've added British comedy. So if you're looking for something new, um, out of the norm for what you usually watch, if you haven't checked out British comedy, uh, you might want to check it out. And then you have Pranks, Channel 492. That's also a new channel. So the next category is Classic TV. Nothing has changed with Classic TV. Everything is the same. Um, the next section is Home and DIY. Nothing has changed with Home and DIY, which is a good thing. Um, everything is still in the same place. BBC Food, BBC Home, um, This Old House Classics shows on this um, on this category, Home and DIY. And I was excited when Pluto um, created this category because it, it kind of made it easier to find content, you know, the right content. All right, so next is Explore. Nothing is new with the Explore category. Everything is the same. Next is Sports. So in the Sports category, Pluto TV has removed CBS Sports HQ. That has been removed. You see over here in the old section, it is there. But in the new section, it has been removed. So next is Gaming and Enemy. Nothing has changed there. So you still have access to IGN, GameSpot, Minecraft TV, popular with kids and gamers. So um, I got out of video games a few years ago, and I just never looked back. The interest just completely went away uh, for me. Um, next is music. Nothing has changed with music. And going down to E and Spanyol. So a few things changed here. They have removed Channel 910, Nashville, and Espanol. And you see over here where I got all these new. Uh, last time I re reported on, well, last time I um, yeah reported on Pluto TV, they expanded their in Sp their Spanish section immensely. I mean, they added a tons of new content. Um, but going down to channel 916, this is a new channel, Sirius Khan and Spaniel. So go down here, some more. So they also added Top Gear and Spaniel and Salsa de Pereas and Spaniel. Well, not in Spaniel, it is Spanish. So that's also a new channel. So the kids section is the, the section, well, the kids category is the section that has been changed the most. Um, so looking over here, the left and the right, um, starting with the left, Nick Jr., Pluto, that has been re um, relocated to this spot. You see we got Nick Jr., Pluto over here. It went from 978 uh, to 975. You have uh, 976, uh, was Kids Animation. But now it is Nick Jr. and Spaniel, right? Before they put all the Spanish channels in one section, it seems like now they decided to just move everything back for whatever reason. I guess it wasn't getting that much, um, in that many views in the location it was in. But uh, 977 is um, Nick Pluto TV. And that channel, well, you know what? That channel has been relocated. Nick. Pluto TV has been relocated. I think we want to get to it. Let's see here. Yep, 991. Nick Pluto TV is now 991. But let me just go through it like it is now. So um, 978 is Dora. 980 is a new channel, Little Stars. All this is kids content, 982. Little Baby Boom, um, that channel was actually relocated from 995. Um, Bebecito Bum Ye Sus Amigos, that's a completely new network. 
after school cartoons have completely been removed. I kind of like that channel. Um, Tween um, has been removed. You have um, Nick in Spanish, Pocket Watch. That's been relocated, I believe. It's in another location. Um, totally Turtles um, is still on here. They just relocated it from 983 down to 994. And we get to the 1000s Teen Spirit um, Cartoon Channel. That's an absolutely new channel. Find out why. That's a new channel. Pocket Watch again. That was relocated from 993. It's now over here to 1008. I mean 1008. Ryan and Friends. That's new for every kids. No parents allowed. That's a new channel. Grandish Garfield and Friends. So let's go down here to their locals. So the only thing that's changed the locals, if you've been following me on otantana.com, is they have added channel 1033, which is CBSN Baltimore. That's the only new thing. But ladies and gentlemen, that is it. Um, if you think I missed something, let me know. Hit me up in the comment section. Shout out to, I think his name was Xavier. He hit me up and said, hey, man, what's going on with Pluto TV? You haven't released any new content on them. So I decided to create this video. But shout out to Xavier. I think that's his name. Let me just double check. So. Yeah, Xavier Monday. Shout out to you, my friend, for hitting me up and lighting the fire up under me. Uh, but yeah, all in all, you know, Pluto TV is going to change every month. Their content is going to change any month. And looking at that platform, uh, again, there's tons of room for improvement. I think Pluto does this on purpose. Like, they have Pluto TV. First, Pluto TV is owned by Viacom CBS, who owns Paramount Plus, BT Plus. These streaming platforms have great search features you know you search by actor director key grip whoever extra you can search anybody that's in that movie you can search for but Pluto TV you can't um, you can only search based on that TV show or movie title you look at other streaming free streaming platforms like crackle tuba TV you can search based on actor director you know but Pluto TV they just so, slow playing this and um because they already got some a hit that they already got a hit um, hit product, so why even make big changes to it, you know? But uh, that is it, folks. I will talk to you guys next time. Peace out.